Welcome back to the Brad and Rach vlog. Today, Barb and Dennis, Rachel's parents, met with their real estate agent, and she's really confident it's gonna be a very quick sale. So I think I need to re reiterate, like why the heck we're all selling our houses. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions. It's because the market is just so hot right now so that we will make a very large profit if we sell our house. Mm -hmm. Dennis and Barb have had the plan that they're gonna, you know, downsize, although they're not really downsizing much, but they're gonna get off the water. They'd rather be on the golf course for their retirement home. And so they're gonna sell their home within, you know, two to three years. Well, with the market being like it is, it would be foolish to wait another two or three years when you can capitalize uh, currently. And that's kind of the same thing with Rachel and I. It's like, we know we're not in our forever home, so we might as well go ahead and sell it, build our forever home, and really maximize the profits that we're gonna get from selling our home. So Dennis and Barb here, obviously it's like a Colorado style, like these logs are literally from Colorado. And so I'm just gonna take you around the house while it's clean. <laughs> so right off the foyer, Obviously you have the gorgeous view from the living room. And then here's the master suite with its own balcony and a gorgeous view out there. And then this is the bathroom. This is actually tile flooring instead of wood. Um, they just did that this last summer during COVID. I think a lot of people did home repairs during COVID. Uh, it's just obviously got the bathroom, spa tub with the shower and then Look how big their closet is. They got a giant walk-in closet. All right, let's go back out to the kitchen. So leaving the master bedroom, going into the kitchen. Obviously right off the kitchen we have another restroom. Here's the kitchen, an open floor plan. Right off the kitchen is the office. Office has a balcony. Gorgeous view. I mean, the view alone is, and it's really cool because the Four Seasons Resort is about right there, and they do a huge fireworks show for all the major holidays, so it's just like the perfect view for that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go downstairs. Extra wide staircase. This actually used to be Rachel and Brad's house. When we moved here from South Carolina after I got out of the Navy, we moved into here for about a year until our house back in South Carolina sold. So down here we have a massive porch. The porch goes all the way around outside. Um, so obviously a pretty big TV. This is our old room, which is nice down here because all the bedrooms have their own bathroom. So that's really nice. So this is Barb's quilt room, which, gosh, I've never seen it this bare. Barb, if someone makes you an offer for your, uh, what do you call that, a long arm? My long arm? Yeah, you're gonna take it? No. <laughs> Depends on the price. And like I said, got another full bathroom down here. Okay. And utility room. So Barb had her little office right here. Obviously she cleaned that up. Pretty large storage area. We actually converted that into uh, Baron Lindell's playroom when we lived here. Got another so I don't know if this is technically can be considered a bedroom because there's no window. However, obviously it's a bedroom because you got your closet, got your bathroom. Now, if I walk through here, 
Then we go to the workout room. You working out? Yeah. Noise. I'm trying to push this down. Oh, okay. I'll help you in just a minute. I'm almost done with the tour. And the outside here. So, a lot of people asked, and yes, we actually, we already sold our boat. So we sold the big boat, actually he sold, he literally did a package deal with someone and sold everything that's on the water right now. So yeah, so we sold our boat. We were 50-50 partners with uh, Dennis and Barb. And I'm, I'm not sure what we'll do in the future about a boat. What do you think? Yeah, I'm kind of sad about the boat. We were a house divided. Brad was definitely let's sell the boat. I was iffy. Mom was let's sell the boat. Dad was iffy. But it makes sense to do it. It's kind of the same story as our house, where if we wanted to sell it any time in the future, then now would be the time to do it. And we definitely didn't use it in the past couple of years as much as we thought we would. Mm -hmm. And that's more circumstantial than anything. Like we didn't expect Eloise to come along. We didn't expect me to be so sick while I was with Eloise. And then, I don't know, we just didn't, we didn't use it much. So it just didn't make sense to keep it, especially since none of us are gonna be on the water. But we do have a yacht club that if we do get another boat, we can keep a boat at the yacht club and maybe get something more modest. Yeah, so that'll be way down the road. It's not something that we're going to do within the next couple of years. A couple of people are asking if I'm sad about my childhood home being sold. That's a, one of those healing monk yeah. healing bowls. I got it. I got it for my mom a long time ago. That's a good story. Uh, about your childhood home? Yes. So this technically is not, I mean... I was here from when I was probably 15 or 16. I was probably 15 when we moved in here and lived in it until I was 18 and then I went off to college. So, I mean, it, it is like one of my childhood homes, but not what I would consider my childhood home. That would be the home I lived in in Kansas City. That one I was sad to leave. Um, but I'm so excited about what this means for all of us that it's not sad, it's more exciting. I guess if I start thinking about it too long, it'll be kind of sad. <laughs> just thinking about all the memories we've had here but but what's what's funny is so Dennis and Barb have purchased the lots that are literally two over from our lot so we're gonna be even closer than we are currently right this was just too far <laughs> <laughs> it will be a little sad leaving this house because I mean this is where Baron Lindell took their first steps had their first birthday party. climb up the stairs for the first time yeah took a bunch of baths but we'll make a lot of new memories in the new house. It's just a house. Are you gonna take down those pictures, Barb? <laughs> I'm sure that the new owner will want them. <laughs> so our whole plan with this is drop the kids off at my parents' house so we can go to town on our house, which we pretty much have mostly done. There's just a few things that we need to do without the attendance of small children. And that's what we're gonna do right now. They're gonna have dinner at Mama and Bumpa's house. Their house is pretty much done now. Basically, the real estate agent said, you really don't need to do anything else to this house. It is ready, which is awesome. That's like probably a huge relief for my mom because they were planning on doing some uh, landscaping and there's just a couple of other things that, I guess when you're at that price point that they're at, doing that is not gonna shift it that much. Like when you're at our price point, Landscaping, you'll see that return in the price, but right. I guess for them it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, so I'm going to address a few frequently asked questions. Why wouldn't we just switch houses? Their house is way out of our budget. <laughs> way out of our budget. That would not be a good trade, first of all. <laughs> um, our parents, my parents don't really like our house. That's not, that's not the kind of house that they want and they're excited to build their own house and we'll... Well, when you say they don't like our house, it's not their style. For themselves, exactly. They like our house, they don't want it for themselves. Right. And I'm not offended by that, that's just no. reality. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I'm excited for them to build exactly what they want. And so that's kind of the deal on that. Another frequently asked question is, are they going to be close to us? Yes. 
So I think Brad explained that their lots are just, we could throw a rock and hit their lot from our lot. So we're gonna be walking distance. Literally the kids will be able to walk out of our house to my parents' house unattended. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so it's very, very exciting. Timeline wise will kind of depend on when things sell. And we are on, I don't wanna say we're on a hurried timeline, but I feel like we are slightly more hurried than they are because we have small children that will be part of this whole like interim time frame where we're not really, we don't really have a home <laughs> where we're living in an RV. So we're gonna be slightly more rushed, I think with our process. We are using two different builders. So that's another question. Um, I'll think of more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So step one, we're getting all the appliances and everything off of the countertops. Um, we are going to be making coffee in the morning though. Oh, I'm just caulking. I'm caulking. Oh, you're caulking? Yes. Oh. I'll be caulking. It's an awkward word to say. Put you in your mouth. <laughs> Last night we filmed with our uh, cell phone because we forgot the camera down at Dennis and Barb's house. And I did some caulking, or not caulking. <laughs> you just went straight out again. <laughs> I did some grouting, so like there was some pretty big gaps here with a bunch of cracked uh, grout, so looks much, much better. And Rachel's going to steam clean the floors, so they'll look even better. Do you like smooth it out after you put it on? Yeah. Cool. Well, the camera is really blurry, so it looks great in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's wide enough? Yeah. Especially if you start it out the same over here and that's what it looks like once you smooth it out, then I think it's perfect. So we picked up the kid from De kids from Dennis and Barb's and now we need to do last minute touches. Come on, wee wee. On their, the nursery and their room. It's the end of an era, honey. It is. Taking down the conspiracy theory tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, aluminum foil acts as a really great light block. Yeah, I would have napped in here any day. Oh my gosh, it was a napping sanctuary. Um, there's a lot of like random little things that are coming up now that it's the 11th hour that I forgot about. Mm -hmm. Like the twins room was pretty much a disaster. And it's gonna be. You'll have like 15 minutes tomorrow morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you It'll know be... what time the photographer's coming? We don't. Oh. We're not gonna find out until in the morning. Oh, okay. So hopefully it's not until later in the morning, but it's the, the tricky part is it's just gonna be me and all three kids. My mom's leading Bible study tomorrow. So it's just, there's no backup plan and I gotta get the kids out of the house. and. Right. And like finish up all the loose ends. And they, I wanted to start a thing on, these have to be wet. Oh. I wanted to start a thing on Instagram that said, cleaning the house while your three toddlers are in your house is like. Oh. And it would be like blow drying your hair while touring Niagara Falls or <laughs> something like that. That was a good one, wasn't it? That was a great one. Did you just think of that? A little extra. Fumey. This was obviously sort of in the attic. Really nasty. Mm -hmm. So this kind of got me thinking. What's more important? Pictures or showings? To like make uh, the house look beautiful. I don't know. I can't keep this level of dedication up for many showings. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, I hope we sell it sight unseen. Yeah, exactly. That's not going to happen though. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like nice for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so should we just go ahead and move it out? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's an, I had not even thought of that. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It takes me back to our South Carolina days 
when we were selling our house there and we did several showings while we still were there and the twins were anywhere from like I think while we were doing showings they were like two and a half to three and a half four months old and so getting them out of the house at that age wasn't easy um they would be like in the middle of a nap and I would go wake them both up and get them in the car <laughs> and clean up really quick while I was breastfeeding one of them it was good fun memories but I think you know we were pretty relaxed with showings then even though we said we wanted a 24-hour notice for any inquiry for a showing they would still be like can I come over in 10 minutes and we would just be like oh my gosh so now if that happens I'm just I think a more relaxed person where I'm I'm just gonna say yeah if you want to see it right now you're gonna see it in the state it's in <laughs> and I mean if they do want to see it right then I guess they just gonna they're gonna have to understand that because <sighs> I told Brad yesterday I wanted to set up a camera on the ceiling that could view all of the kitchen and all of the living room because pretty much every night we get the house <clears throat> back to its, its like original state everything's pretty much tidied up and clean and then over the course of the day it's like everything explodes in the space and then at night we clean it all back up again so it would be neat to see on a really fast 12 hour time lapse or whatever from 8 a.m to 8 p.m <laughs> what happens to the state of this house but yeah we have some we have a ways to go here before we can go to bed i do like the big sink as well and i also like our cock job i like the cock job too i think we did a pretty good job you're really good. Thanks, honey. What were you just talking about? What makes you nauseous? Dawn dish soap. And why does Dawn dish I soap? I can't believe I haven't told you that before. No. I, I assumed you would know immediately what I was talking about. We've I been together for 10, 11 years, and I've never heard this story. So I had a... Stomach. Which is crazy, because you talk all the Constant. time. I never stop talking. I even know about every single dream you have. No, you'd, I didn't tell you about last night's dream. Okay, cool. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so when I was in high school, I got a stomach bug, and this would, one time in high school, I would throw up into this little trash can, and every. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad we got. Worst. I'm glad we got that on film. I hate when my arms get wet when I don't want them to be wet. <laughs> <laughs> Bear got that from me, like when you wash your hands in your sleeve accidentally. Gets oh yeah, it oh. freaks out. I hate that. My grandma, my mom's mom hated that too. How many stories can I tell within a story? Squirrel! <laughs> in high school, I got a stomach bug, and I would throw up in a trash can, and then I would clean that trash can with dish soap. It was Dawn dish soap. And then every time I got ready to throw up in it again, which when I get a stomach bug, I throw up like every 15 minutes. You throw up a lot. I do. I'm a weak stomach. Yeah. Yeah, I do throw up a lot. Um, so then every time I got ready to throw up, I would smell that Dawn dish soap that I had just used. And then now to this day, 20 years later, 15 years later, every time I get a whiff of it, it like physically makes my mouth water. Mm -hmm. That's how I was with tequila for about no, six <laughs> Most years. Most people have a liquor story with <laughs> associated. I'm good with tequila now, but. Yeah, that's me with whiskey. Yeah. And Dawn dish soap. <laughs> Dawn dish soap. <laughs> so yeah, let's check out the cock job. It's pretty darn good, but you can't cock over there was grout. So there was still like some grout left, but luckily not very many places, which is good and bad, I guess. So it's like this place was built in 2018 and almost all that grout is gone. So I don't know what that they, they probably shouldn't have grouted right there. They probably shouldn't have grouped right there. English. Grouting. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty simple and makes a big difference. Looks much cleaner. Was there... Uh, what'd you say, honey? I don't want to be on camera for that. <laughs> <laughs> on our list of must-haves in the new house. <laughs> I really would love an appliance bar in our pantry. We use one of these bad boys every day. The crock pot, the pressure cooker, the food processor, 
the space air fryer. The air fryer. There's not a good place to keep it, and lugging it in and out of there is annoying. So, look at this concept. There's gonna be a picture here. Genius, right? They're yeah. just there for the using all the time. That is nice. Yeah. Someone did say make sure your pantry is ventilated. Yeah, if you're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like the air fryer. Was that's what I was worried about. Air fryer needs to be. Well, we can do like a backsplash that's heat resistant. We do a tile mm -hmm. backsplash or whatever. Yeah. And the air fryer has to be six inches away from anything. In the back of it. Yeah. So we'll just have to be aware of that. Pull right. it out when we use it or. But I want like our coffee pot and everything in there so that, I mean, there's just no appliances on our countertops. You want our coffee pot in there? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we? Because I want an actual, I'd, I'd like a coffee bar that has a designated water. So, I mean, first world problem, but obviously every day you make coffee. So how awesome, how awesome would it be if you had a coffee maker that was hooked up to a water supply and that had a grinder on the top. I've been doing a little research. They're really freaking expensive. But it's one of those things where it's like, I mean, spend the money where you're gonna use it. And we literally make coffee at least once a day, if not more than that. So it's like, you know, a thousand dollars over 30, 40 years. Yeah, if we, if we probably get worth it. life out of it, for sure. Right. It'd be worth it. And if it makes really good coffee, we, I mean, that thing was too, 200 or something? Well, my parents got it for us. No, 300. It was 300. So if yeah. you're going to spend 300 on that, then it doesn't seem like that much of a stretch. A thousand? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. You did good, kid. It looks good in here. <laughs> 10, 10 10.07. We're done. I know. Wasn't bad. Not bad at all. I, there is something. Well, probably wouldn't show up in a picture. No. And I also, I was going to move 50 cent. 50 cent. <laughs> My fiddly. Fiddly cent. Where are you going to put it? I don't know. I might just take that stand out from underneath it and set it on the floor right there. Seriously? You should see Brad's face right now. It's like really short. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously? Okay. <laughs> Definitely decluttered a ton. Kitchen looks good. What do you think, Iris? Check this out. Ah. If you saw this space before, you would be impressed. Maybe. Look at that fridge. Whatever. You should show them the playroom and show, bedroom. Show them the playroom and our bedroom. Playroom. Before we leave tomorrow, we will vacuum lines in it because everybody appreciates vacuum lines. And our bedroom. I'm not going to turn the light on because we we sleeping in the nursery, but decided to go with that above the bed. Take our pictures out. Good.